pie, pie drive truck up to like here and then just walk all the way across this tree line. The only thing I'm worried about is getting through this food plot, but it should be okay. We should be able to slip right down here between the woods and the corn. Get right back in there. It's calling for like a southeast wind. Everything working right off this field edge back into this bedding back here. We should be able to catch them. Alright, feels good to have to throw a little jacket on this morning. We got a nice little cold front working through. And this is a new stand location on my farm here. I've been hunting for 15 years probably, but really excited about it. Got a mock scrape at about 25 yards out in front of me that uh, had a couple of shooters kind of working through. It's been a couple days now, but uh, had them pretty, pretty regularly. But we're sitting on a little funnel right here. Uh, off, of, off of some uh, food sources that kind of leading back to some bedding areas. So we got a really good wind in it for it this morning. We were to slip in uh, between the timber and the corn. So uh, we're to see some activity. We got uh, probably two good looking shooters and two, uh, two of them that we have to make a little game time decision on. So it's good, good setup, good weather. Looking forward to it. shower we got in here and uh, hung up this stand in the rain with the hopes that it uh, was going to stop in the next 30 minutes and it's continued on for about two hours so we're pretty well soaked about right now but uh, we got some recent intel of a buck that uh, I've got a little history with uh, really the encounter that I had with him was just on the other side of this ridge and uh, we're thinking he's either bedding up in this bedding area uh, to the south bedding in this bedding area to the north. So really we're just hoping for this rain to kind of calm down and hoping that it gets the deer on their feet here by the last light. set up for the evening and I really like this setup right here we were able to slip in relatively quiet and pretty quick um, got a really good west wind and the way this uh, this topo map on onyx reads you know this this you can tell here in the stand it like really 
dives off far back down into this creek before it goes up into this cattle pasture. So we're expecting everything, all the movement to be kind of out in front of us. So our wind should be perfect, like a west or a southwest wind, taking it right back off this edge, back onto this ditch. If anything even comes to that side, it'll be so low that they won't be able to smell us anyway. So we're looking to play something right off the top of this big ridge, kind of feeding out into this cornfield here. So uh, we got a good picture of that buck in here this morning. So we know he's bedded back in this timber here somewhere. Uh, it's just a matter of uh, him working his way up to this corn tonight. So uh, the conditions are right. The wind will be in our favor. So we'll see if he makes his way up.
took a little too long to draw. I should have drew with him back out there like 40 because he's on a beeline straight to us. I could have shot him right here. 